First, I'd like to thank everybody for joining us for today's live webinar titled ComTouch and IML Server Winning the War on Spam. So today's panelists for this live webcast are Stony Brooks from, Com, uh, from ComTouch, Jason Nightingale from CTC, and Nick Ortolaza from Ipswich. And I'd like to thank the panelists for joining us today. I'd like to introduce you to Stony Brooks. Stony is the Director of Business Development for ComTouch, and as such, he facilitates all the OEM relationships with partners. Stony has been in the messaging and security industry for about 15 years, of which the uh, past 10 have been with ComTouch, and he's held positions in IT, data center operations, sales engineering, and business development sales. So, Stony, it's a pleasure to have you with us today. Thanks, Brad. Thanks for the intro, and hello, everyone. So. Just to start off with a little bit of humor, um, some of you may be familiar with this uh, quote from Bill Gates that was several years ago. And, you know, to be honest, the more years go by with uh, spam not being solved, uh, the more uh, famous this quote <laughs> becomes. Uh, but it's a problem that hasn't gone anywhere. So uh, despite what uh, the predictions were from Bill Gates, spam has been growing at a very alarming rate for the past several years. As you can see here, uh, the spam levels from 2002 have grown uh, in a magnitude uh, uh, of size here, uh, basically showing 2010, the, the amount of spam, the percentage of spam in Internet email is about 95%. Spam is becoming uh, more and more of a nuisance. It's growing in volume. The bad guys are doing things to evade your typical type of uh, filters and solutions that are out there. One very nice or very uh, interesting way to look at this, spammers try to evade many of the content-based filters, and one of them is changing, simply changing the way that they spell Viagra. Uh, on top of that, to, to exaggerate the issue even further, spammers are using much more tactics to blend threats together, being limited threats from SMTP and email or in, in web, Webmail accounts are becoming compromised from ISPs, which are sending spam, doing attacks from legitimate IP networks. Spammers are using the same methods of spamming to send their malware threats as well. It's a pretty interesting uh, dilemma out there. I'm pretty sure most of you are aware of botnets and these compromised P PCs that are being controlled essentially by the bad guys and being used. Their services are being being rationed out to for hire, allowing anyone to pay for their service to send out spam or send out malware attacks and, and this sort uh, of thing here. So this is another fun slide. Knock, knock, who's there? Uh, essentially, you know, the thought behind this is why answer the door if you know if you know it's bad? But one of the things I wanted to point out here is that ComTouch in our data centers, we're identifying over 305 newly created zombies daily. It's a huge problem, and these machines, they have a very short lifespan. They don't do their criminal activity uh, all the time. They become active and they, they become deactivated uh, at the control of the, the, the bot herder. And it's a, a significant issue. Today, they're causing about 85% uh, of all spam on the Internet. On top of that, it's causing a huge disruption to many of the static base solutions, primarily these different uh, RBL uh, solutions that are very heavily based on static data or input from a, a user community reporting bad uh, sources out there on the Internet. Okay, so some of the maxims that I wanted to bring to the table uh, in this discussion and some of the fundamental ideas behind the complex technology and how we designed it and why we've been successful uh, with our solution. So spam, it's basically, it's only economical in large volumes. Single point uh, solutions and static lists like RBLs, to add to this, even uh, the majority of solutions out there, they're heavily based on content. Trying to analyze a single message based on the content that's in that message, looking for keywords in order to make a decision. Today, they simply can't keep up with the volumes that are out there. They're very heavy, they're very slow, uh, they don't recognize uh, things from a global perspective. Too often they're too late to protect before the messages make it through to the inbox and have the potential to, to affect the user and the organization. All of this really plays into the ComTouch strengths. Our solution's been, been out there for the past uh, eight years, our anti-spam and, and messaging security solutions, but we really uh, found that a cloud-based solution 
that has the ability to uh, to provide a global view of what's happening on the internet is really the only way to solve this problem and to allow the community to deal or to handle this issue and make the entire email experience much more a pleasant experience. Okay, so a little bit about CompTouch. Uh, basically, we're disrupt disrupting the spammers with the cloud. We're using and leveraging our ability to do things in the cloud and provide this information to our partners. In a nutshell, our solution is called recurrent pattern detection, and uh, I'm not going to go too technical on the description of this, but I'll try to give a pretty broad briefing on what we're doing. We have a, a network of collection points that are based and strategic points across the Internet. These are actual sniffers that listen to live SMTP traffic uh, over the globe. From this network, and this is not our only input to the system, but this is one of the primary inputs, we're seeing data from over 2 billion messages on a daily basis. Along with that input, we, we have partnerships with over 100 ISP partners, uh, over hundreds of thousands of businesses using our technology, equating to hundreds of millions of end users or mailboxes that are benefiting from the technology. Moving on to the next point, we're collecting all of this data and doing an analysis that's based completely independent of the content of the message. So we don't care if the message contains words like Viagra or sex or whatever the case may be. We don't care if it's in a different language, if it's an image. That's not how the technology is designed. We're analyzing these, these messages that are passing through our collection points extracting patterns, mathematical samples of, of, of the message, pulling this information to our data centers. And inside of our, of our data centers, we're taking all of this data and trying to find the needle in the haystack. We believe and we see over the past several years that every single outbreak has at least one pattern that's recurring multiple times. And our expertise is being able to find that, that recurring pattern and, and provide knowledgeable data to our partners to prevent these messages from making it through and causing damage. So it's, it's a true real-time solution. We're able to see, see new outbreaks as they occur within the first minute of a new outbreak uh, being spewed over the Internet. Some of the takeaways of the technology, um, like I mentioned before, it's, it's a uh, signature and list technology. Uh, they, they, they really can't provide a solution like ours. Ours is signature less. We're looking for, for outbreaks as they occur. Uh, massive uh, delivery of, of, of messages on the Internet. The, the other solutions that are based on signatures and based on, on content, they're always going to be behind the curve. They're not fast enough to identify and don't have the, the coverage or the breadth of uh, knowledge to be able to identify these new threats. They're not accurate, uh, and many of these solutions overload your resources. The spam characteristics play to the cloud strength, right? So the more that the more volume that is sent over the Internet, the better that the anti-spam solution that's delivered through the IML server premium using CompTouch, the better that solution is going to be able to identify these new outbreaks and, and do something about them. So our solution, again, it's a real-time detection, a real-time protection, and uh, it's, it's very adaptive to the new techniques uh, that spammers are using because uh, at the end of the day, in order to turn a profit, the core fundamental uh, backing behind spam, they need to send in high volumes to, to make it worth their while, okay? And with a solution like ours, it's really going to free up many of the resources that are being uh, uh, invested into your current infrastructures if you don't have the IML server premium anti-spam solution. You're, you're managing spam assassin and doing a, a lot of the, the management and tweaking yourself it's, it's causing you to invest quite a bit of a resource and time into doing that, not to mention all of the downstream processes and, and things that are involved, right? The more junk and the more threats that you allow into the network, the more storage you have to use to handle that, the more processing uh, power and so forth, and it just kind of cascades from that. Uh, with our edge perimeter solutions that's built into the IML uh, server premium solution, we're blocking uh, roughly about 90% of all those threats before they even enter your network, freeing you up with uh, much more valuable time to focus your efforts on much more important things. All right. Well, thanks uh, again for your presentation, Stoney. A lot of good info in there, uh, and I've already got several questions that have popped up here for you, so uh, we'll get to those uh, in just a few minutes.